need to, while everyone else fighting, they need to take that opportunity Hello, to, to form. come together. Hello. Well, Great. Can we talk about that? Great point. Yeah, while Hello. everybody going crazy. You know what? Let these niggas go crazy. Getting mad at Fuck McDonald's. They shit up. I yeah. said, what the hell did McDonald's do? Oh, I don't, the free Palestine. I said, well, what the fuck does McDonald's <laughs> and Palestine got oh, to do? Oh, because McDonald's <laughs> is donating money to Israel for all, and Starbucks, too. Why don't they, McDonald's, get some gas cards, they're nigga? They're McDonald's. Right. Because they're like, why are you guys... But they have to understand exactly. these Jews, they own this shit. Right. They, they, like, so they gonna use they, like, yeah, they gonna know. use they shit Boy, to, And why is it anti-Semitic to say that Jews run shit? Y'all do. No, it, you know why? It they use that as a as a, a cop out to, to, to yeah to, to say that um oh y'all gonna hate on us because we do run shit. Yeah. <laughs> like don't yeah. say nothing, nigga, because now you're gonna make us a target even more. Is yeah. that what they're saying? Yeah. Because we know we run shit, but so what? I don't want to be now. Now you put a target on my fucking head. It's the same thing. So that's what they're it saying. It just makes much, it. Right? Kanye was right the whole time. He was. He's always been right. And I'm they always and, supported yeah. Yay. Oh, me too. My, a whole entire existence. But when you have tell the truth, you know. Man. They don't want, they're yeah, like, oh, they you're saying too much. And they try to fucking you don't want to wait, don't wake people up. No, you're saying too much. Shut up. Right. Shut you're up. You're saying way too much. Shut up. Okay, so I'm sorry. You are the credit on Instagram. What? Lem oh, Lamar the Lamar Great. Lamar the Great. Excuse me. Ooh, you switched it up, Daddy, again? You oh, oh he... <laughs> At first, I thought you was Credit Repair Daddy. <laughs> no, that's that's the name. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. It's like, you know okay. how it has your like name your handle and then your handle? And then yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got so, it. So, Credit got Daddy. It. Call me the Credit Daddy. Okay, I'm like, aren't you Credit Repair <laughs> <laughs> I know. I wasn't just calling them daddy, Nick. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Wait, I was going to put your handle on here, so you're not Lamore Compton on Instagram no more? No, no. Lamore the Great. I'm to tell okay. You this man. Yeah. He gets with it. I changed it. I was getting a lot of like fake accounts and shit, man. <laughs> and I wanted. I just refuse to pay for that verification. Oh, what they what verification. they charge her for Why? the blue for the blue know. thing? It feels weird. Like I'm paying for a fucking blue check. Fuck, fuck that shit. Like, I mean, it's, paying it's a subscription. Good. It's only fourteen dollars a month. It's the principal. Yes. It's fourteen dollars a month. Yes. Oh, them niggas is crazy. <laughs> no, you understand what I'm saying? Like them niggas is crazy. Fourteen for the year. Twelve. I pay twelve ninety nine for the year. Crazy year. Yeah, dollar a month, nigga. That's all you can give me. <laughs> I got you, nigga. Yeah, but if you get that from everybody, you straight. Well, see, I mean, it's all about how you think about it, you know, like. But you're not you, giving me nothing for my fourteen dollars. Well, no, you are. You're getting more um, followers. I know I am, and then which give, which is giving you more exposure. That just tells me that the whole site is. Hand. That tells me if the site is rigged, then I'm cool. Thank you. So I'm paying. I guess I gotta pay to. to okay. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I got you. But, I hear that. But Danny's gonna be our test dummy for the Instagram. Yeah, be me, honey. I'm Danny say it's working, y'all. Pay your fourteen. <laughs> Do you get it? Can you um, like uh, what they like a pyramid scheme? Can you like uh, get credit for like uh, getting people to sign up for their fourteen dollars? No. Oh. I don't think so. I'd rather pay for ads for my business and for my shit than pay them. Do they give you ad money on there? Like ad? Yeah. Ad credit? Yeah, I was able to. Okay. Just a lot of my and then which got me more followers. Yeah. All right, people, Danny. I mean, it's all about Y'all go follow Danny. She got the blue check, y'all. <laughs> she official. The queen is verified. <laughs> <laughs> queen is Whatever verified. that means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what does that even mean, right? <laughs> no, I had to ask. I said, okay, so now what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, so, uh. <laughs> so now what? Okay. Finally. You know what the scary thing is, though? I think if more people start buying into that, it's going to become a thing. Like a real yeah. social status thing to be that's verified and all these things. Already that's already is. Yeah, so. Like, it was already. Why do you think I'm paying it, fam? Like, it's, it's like you meet, you, meet chick, you meet a you know? chick. You meet a chick. She'd be like, how many followers you got? Oh, you got a blue check? Okay, I'll fuck. It don't matter. Right. <laughs> like, what? That shit weird. <laughs> Danny and Willie said, what's your cash app? Oh. He gonna pay you. He gonna pay you your blue check bill. Well. <laughs> Here, pull that mic to you and tell him in the mic, Danny. Oh, 
Okay, so yeah, don't swipe left, nigga. That's always a. I mean, I said, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. That's what you just tell yourself. <laughs> don't you just tell a look on your face. Don't get surprised. Don't get surprised. <laughs> I just don't want to swipe and see no swipe. <laughs> yeah, that's dangerous too, nigga. That's dangerous too. Well. You know, I seen this thing on. I seen this thing on Instagram that made so much sense. This dude said, that "If you a dude and you watch porn, you're gay." It's. Uh, I thought about that. Dollar signs. What do you think, Lamar? No, it depends. I mean, have I watched porn? Yeah, I don't focus on the dude. Ain't that weird though, right? It's the. It's like you almost don't even see him. Who yeah. wanted to know? It's like yeah, I, huh? I don't. Who wanted to know my cash? Oh, M. Willie. Hi, M. Willie. Yeah. I, I focus on. So the girl. it's. Dollar sign like Danny D A N I, you know, like I and then C O R R I N. Do it one more time, Danny. Do it one more time. With the dollar voice. sign Danny D A N I and then C O R R I N is my <laughs> my cash. He said. App. He said, type it in there. Okay. Cause I think Big J in Dallas want to hit your cash app too. Big J does not yeah. want to hear my It's Cash App Danny Day. No, it's not. That's not true. Cash App Danny Day. <laughs> is that Danny. why I got to disappear for That's a couple who weeks? That's Danny remind me of. You oh. remember, uh, she was a famous actress. She played Catwoman. Eartha Kitt? Yes. Stop it. I'll punch you in your yeah. fucking face. Right a little bit. <laughs> A little bit. My goodness. I had a thing. I had a thing. Not the way she looked, but I had it's a like an energy. For the kid. Well, you know, everyone does say I do look like Debbie Allen. So, I Who's mean, the... as far as like the timeless, um, it's um, Felicia Rashad's sister. Oh, I got to see. Felicia Rashad is Claire Huxtable. Okay. From the Cosby's. Her sister. So, they, I do get like old school <laughs> actresses. And that's good though. That just means you have because that shit don't exist no more. You I know? got a timeless look. Yeah, timeless <laughs> don't exist. We don't have like. I'm old school. I got an antic and antiqu antiquated. Is it that? Is that what antiquated look? <laughs> <laughs> antiquated look. Word in <laughs> you knew it. You antiquated. knew that word. I don't know the definition of the word you call it for though, so I don't want to jump in. Like a like a old school like antique vintage. Right. <gasps> oh my goodness, M. Willie. That is so nice. <laughs> no, why did I why did I get into it with somebody on Instagram about the OnlyFans? Only okay, so we'll talk about that post. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, M. Willie. That is so, I feel the love. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. You guys are really going to make me tap back into my craft, okay? Because I've been working <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Don't say that. I'm a superstar. <laughs> is my bun okay? I had a heck of a month. <laughs> I'll say that. It was fun. Oh, you're shining, Danny. You ready? Aw, oh, thank you. Yes. Oh, your little thing went away, too. I know, right? Yeah, I didn't even know. It's a unicorn. I got to chop it off. Aww. You know, Danny got war wounds, y'all. Yeah. Danny a gangster. She be in the field. Thank you. <laughs> Danny be in the field, y'all. Oh, you gave me powers. Hilarious. <laughs> powers in my third eye. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> you know, Danny, you should, teach a, you should teach a class on how to talk to men. Really? Yeah. Oh, Cause it's funny, cause I, I when I hear you talk, I understand like you get it, like you oh. understand just how to ease a nigga. If a nigga upset, you do some goofy shit. Like <laughs> it's okay, baby. I just, right. like, you're the strongest Let man in the go. world. <laughs> Let it go. You are king. Yes, yeah, you know nigga. That. <laughs> nigga be in the mirror, shadow boxing. <laughs> <laughs> right, For like you know, you're the greatest. That's how you gotta do it, ladies. I'll be like Muhammad Ali's hype guy. That's how you gotta do it. Oh my God! I love you, Big J. I love you and Willie. You guys are so sweet. I appreciate that, and everyone that's coming through on the chat. Yes. All right. Oh, so shall I begin or? One second. I'm just. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me get camera. my life together as well. I'm just your I can't believe him, Willie. That was just really sweet. That was. I think. That was just very, very generous of him. 
You got real fans, Danny. Right. I see. I was like. <laughs> you got some real fans, man. <gasps> I love it. I love the gratitude. I'm so grateful. I started off this morning very, very grateful. And I yeah. did what's called my morning pages, mm -hmm. which is just morning journaling. And you have to do three pages. And it's. It really, really, really helps. <laughs> like, full pages, front and back? Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. just full. Like, three pages. Whatever that looks like. So, yeah. yeah. And it's been working. Because then you get to set your intent. Oh, sorry. sorry. Hold on one second. I'm Take your time. Take your time. Oh, my God. Which, which headphones? I'm going live, guys. You don't need the headphones if you don't want them. It's just me. Oh, okay. Cool. It's just me and Danny in here. So. Cool. Okay, I'm going to go live. Okay, hold on one second. Let's get ready. Like Let's get right. What in the <laughs> Papa is going on? Oh wait, should I do like? Oh wait, no. Can you just? Hey, and I feel like my yeah, mind is crooked. Okay. Okay. There right, you go. Uh, four, three, mm -hmm. two. Yes. <gasps> Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Let Danny Tell It. I am Danny Corinne, number one with the win. And in front of me, I have the one and the only. Shalom to the people. Yes. Now, beside me, back by popular demand, Hi. because literally people have been asking, Ain't where nobody is Muscles at? Where is he at? Where is my fine ass co host <laughs> with, the, with the buns? Okay. The AK, the ARs. Okay. Back by popular demand. Well, thank demand. you. Please introduce yourself. Lamore the Great in the building. Yes, honey. Only you could say that. Hey, <laughs> hey if you don't love like yourself, <laughs> Hello. who else will? You Hello. know what I mean? Well, I think, love Lamore the Great. think highly of yourself. I, the Great. I yeah. love that. I know another Great. <laughs> mm. His name is Jabez. He, I volunteer, but he's Jabez Oh, yeah, I remember him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember Jabez. Yeah, with the crystals and stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, okay, so that's going to be King. See okay, all okay, these okay, okay, okay. okay. I'm saying like if you don't give yourself a yeah you know I'd be like this bitch right here but then I was like you know what let me call myself a queen you know like I need to be a queen. words are powerful they are yeah. they well, are called, and I call spelling for a reason spells. Oh. You know? Oh, like Danny just got that. Got that. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh I was like, like Tori Spilly. Yeah. <laughs> nah, pe pe people don't understand that. What yeah. you say, what you yeah, say out what your you mouth. Say, you know. Well, the Florence good book Go says, "As a man speaketh, so he is." Hello. So um, the um, Florence Govelshin. She says, "Your word is your wand." Mm -hmm. Your word is your wand. So that yes. So I just started a new practice. So uh, I seen this guy said, brush your teeth with the opposite hand that you normally brush with. Mm -hmm. Right? I heard about and that. And then tell yourself in the mirror ten times you love yourself. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And then um, what, it's, it's one more thing that was in there. Uh, I don't know, but I did those two this morning. Mm -hmm. So that's my new routine. See how it goes, you know. Mm -hmm. It works. I Listen, the, I, believe, I believe it works because I just feel like if I believe it works, it works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I believe. Look, mm -hmm. this is your movie, you know. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> in the star. goodness of um, <laughs> of um, of gratitude and speaking and being thankful, thank you, M. Willie. I appreciate that you are so sweet. You know, like I appreciate um, people looking out for me and my craft. So I appreciate that. Um, you know, and I I've never been the type to ask anyone for anything. So I like when like, love like gifts are my love language. So <laughs> I'm never gonna ask for shit. But I so I appreciate when people just just go ahead and look out. So thank you. I wish guys. more women would be like that. Stop yeah, I don't. I can, I don't even feel right asking yeah, anyone for anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really just don't. Yeah. I just don't. I don't know. I feel like my mom. You know, gave all of us the same 24 hours in the day, and what you make mm. of it is what you make of it. Mm -hmm. So if I wanted it that bad, I'd have it, you know? And why am I waiting on anyone else to give me what I want? Like, I've just never 
ever been that type of chick. So that's real. Thank talk. you, that's thank you. Talk. You know, like yes, because I'm never gonna be like, um, can I get my no? By the time I'm, can I get? I already got. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen those videos on YouTube mm-hmm. where the guy uh, walks up to a girl, usually dressed kind of skimpy, then he try to holler at her. She normally rejects him. Then he gets in the car. Then she walks up to the car. Oh, ew, are, yes, now, because she was a, yeah. Now, you ew. as a woman, Danny. Oh, after she sees that he yeah, has a nice car. Right. Was, so I just want to ask Danny, is that, do you think that's real? No, some of that is fake. I've but, never, I can't even conceive. You know, when people say think like a criminal, think like okay. a goat, I don't even know. So okay. I, my thoughts, I don't, I could never fathom myself but do you know a home looking at somebody and then, all of a sudden being interested because of what they have. Like, what you eat don't make me right. shit. I don't give a... And good for you. And that's not like a hater, but it's not like because you... If I wasn't interested before, because you have something of value does not is not going mm. to make me interested in you. Do you know women like that? Have you ever met women like that? Oh, of course. You come and you see those kinds. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And women, of course you've most, seen it. A lot of women are like that because when they see that, they like, oh... I'll be able to experience something that I may not be able to experience because mm. mm. I can't get that myself. So are they wrong then? You can't blame somebody for that. Life oh, is but you can. They, they are, the time they are but they're not. You know why? Because if you got that car for that reason, because you're like, man, I want to get a nice car because, you know, so I can get all the bitches and all this and that. Good point. Then mm-hmm. you are getting... You're attracting what you, exactly you're attracting that. what you like, want. Don't so a when woman you get a, a woman who's like, you, "Oh, I like you because you got a nice car," <clears throat> that's what you wanted in the first place. Words, right. y'all. So Words. It's not really wrong. That's what you attracting from the universe. Right. But just know that certain things that you attract have certain consequences. You know, so for your intent. Yeah. It was all about your intent. Right. Okay. You know, like you wanted to get that. That's exactly what you wanted. So that's what you got. That's deep. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just like if I'm dressed in a skimpy outfit and I'm, you know, getting everyone from, you know, people at the corner selling shit to, you yeah. know, people. all kinds, you know, people, eyes that I want and I don't want, you mm-hmm. know, looking at me. I can't pick and choose mm-hmm. the attention that I get, you know, dressing in a, you know, particular way. So, dress how you want to be addressed. Somebody said is, that. Do you think show. it's wrong if a, if a, say if a woman sees a man in a nice car, right? Mm-hmm. And she comes at him like that, straight up, like, can you take me on a date? Take me shopping? Buy yeah, me a bag. I'm hungry. Right. Yeah, yeah, nigga, like, <laughs> let's go to meet right now. Let's go to uh, Fogo de Child, nigga, right Ew. now. Like, mm-hmm. So do no. you think she's wrong if she comes off off the gate just like, look? No, man. hell no. Lamore? Lamore, he had to take a deep breath. He said, shit. Do I think it's wrong? Yeah. I mean, it I probably think is not smart. I think it's weird. <laughs> You, you know, but she just wait one second, Lamar. Danny, that's what I think. Every, I'd be like, I'd be looking at the women like, look, Shawty, just play. If that's it cool. what you really want. Right. Yeah. You're just going about it, cool. it all wrong. Yeah. Yeah. How do you? Okay, so educate the gold diggers do out I there. Do I really want to do this? Yes, you do. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I make it. I make it simple for the ladies. Okay. Yeah, please. Men are simple. Yeah. There's a famous boxer named Muhammad Ali. He had a, a hype man. We had the same birthday, okay? by the way. Boudini, oh, come on now. Boudini Brown was the name of the hype man. Okay, you guys can go. Houdini no, Brown. No, Boudini Brown. Boudini. Played by Jamie Foxx in the Ali movie, right. starring Will Smith. Okay. Boudini. I learned this from Foxx. He told me, "Pray." He said Boudini's job was the only his only job was to hype Muhammad up. Mm-hmm. So it didn't matter if this nigga's walking through the grocery store. If he looked at him and he that nigga looking down a little bit, he, what up, champ? <laughs> you looking good, champ. Right. You the greatest, champ. <laughs> Ain't nobody you can, as pretty you can, as you. you ain't nobody look better than you, champ. You Can't you. nobody beat you, champ. I you said, and he said, so you got to imagine if a nigga behind you doing this all day, uh-huh. at some point you got to believe it. Yeah. At some point it's going to kick in. Mm-hmm. So to Danny's point, the ladies, just stroke a man's ego. Mm-hmm. If you really want him to invest his money into you, because and a man won't mind doing that. Mm-hmm. That's the crazy part. If you just mind. go and take my money and I have sex with you and you just treat me like another nigga and you're leaving, that's when we get bitter. Mm-hmm. But if you taking my money, but every time I come around you, you're rubbing my feet, nigga. Mm-hmm. It don't matter if you're lying to me. Right. <laughs> you're the greatest man I've ever had sex with. Bitch, here, take a stack, bitch. Go right. shop here. And that's yeah. real <laughs> shit. The words are powerful. It's so true. Words are powerful, to Lamore's point, man. It is so true. Very true, very yeah. true. Yeah, that's true. Because so I mean, girls I that just come that. straight up and say, you have no game. Oh, so finesse these men. Yeah, because now like I just, to, I'm just going to pay for it to like, get out. Yeah. Just like a guy can't come up to you and be like, bitch, I want to fuck. 
I mean, like, well, depending on some, the some, of some dudes that you get. Are. I know. Who's asking? <laughs> Give me a scenario with that one. <laughs> Give me a hypothetical is scenario. Is it the face on love versus the more chestnut? <laughs> <laughs> like, which one is, give is me, sexual assault? Give me the hypothetical which situation. Which one is sexual harassment word. and which one is just oh. <laughs> Okay, so sexual harassment mean you ugly? That's how a guy know you ugly. <laughs> yeah, you, it, 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 it's, it's facts. It depends on you as a man. <laughs> I in my life, what I'm 37. Right, in my life, never, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. Flirting. It's called flirting. Yeah, yeah, I was I, I was a wild nigga at one point. You know, I didn't <laughs> say some wild shit, and I was I like, know. damn, that shit worked. And it worked like right on top in the Burger King. Back it, it just I don't know. I mean, I have higher tricky. standards than that. I know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, Chick Fil A at least. <laughs> give me a hypo- give me a hypothetical, Danny. <laughs> Danny, give me a hypothetical. Uh-huh. That a dude can walk because women always say this. Just, just be honest. So give me a hypothetical situation that a nigga can just really walk up to a woman mm-hmm. and say, "Hey, shawty, mm-hmm. I'm just trying to smack them cheeks, man." So Ew! I would be like, I'm trying to run through it. Let's go I in the bathroom on the ground and say, "Pewee." It doesn't matter who he was. <laughs> no. What if it's uh, Victor Wembanyama? This nigga seven four. Who's that? No, I don't. A, a new somebody. Danny know who, who he is. He, yeah. yeah. He, who does he play for? The Spurs. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so what if it's, uh, you said, you said. Uh, ben Bignana. He's a baby, though. What's no. the guy you just mentioned? Uh, uh, Morris Chestnut. What if it's Morris Chestnut? He's not, what if he's not married? He's none married. Of that? No, I, oh. I, just, I know. I know. That's the homie. What if he's not married? None of that. You know. Okay. So you about think, this. Let's take you away from about it. About this Morris Chestnut. Wait, wait. And, let's take you away from it. Mm-hmm. What if. A man of his stature, an mm-hmm. actor that women seem to like, right? Mm-hmm. Um, what what could he? What scenario could he actually walk up to a woman and say and actually? Get oh, I don't know that woman. I'm not her, so he can't. Okay, just could be he walk up to you if you were no, single? No, in the hell, no. A little bit younger, oh. you know, you in the streets. What the fuck? I, oh, you want me to? You want my butthole why, too? Why, no why one's in life moving? got that. Like <laughs> what the fuck? How did no. you get to a butthole, Danny? What are you talking about? <laughs> so what are you because talking about? That's like that's how crazy you sound asking me that question. <laughs> if I walk into a woman trying to trying to see what's up in your first room, I'm like, what nigga, you want my ass too? I'll be like, whoa, right, whoa, like nigga, are you whoa. crazy? Do you want my soul, my the firstborn? Like, no, you are not. No, okay, you so, can never feel comfortable to ask me no dumb shit like that, fellas. You hear that? You? The women are lying to you. The women are lying. Weirdo. <laughs> see, that's <laughs> why we never tell the truth, are. nigga. Cause that's what's gonna happen. You fucking yeah. weirdo. I mean, <laughs> you don't know me. Like, why would you want it? And then if I were to say yes. Yes, you'd really want it after That's that. So uh, yeah. I don't even know you. <laughs> <laughs> you see, niggas is nasty. Y'all dudes is nasty. Yeah. That's yes. why y'all niggas be d- yes. <laughs> appendages be smelling like mariscos. Yeah. Do you know what mariscos is? It's seafood. Yeah. Disgustos. Because the shit like that. Yeah, exactly. Look at that yeah. face. You don't know what my coochie smell like. You don't know what my I think, hygiene I think is. That has, you don't know the last place. I think it has I to do with maturity I, too. What I put you know? in when, my mouth. Like y'all don't know nothing about. Y'all see a pretty face and just assume. Like, ew. It's kinda how it works. Yeah. Oh, that's disgusting. But you the older the older you get, well, not even it's not even about age. It's about it being in tune so the more spiritually spiritually in tune you become you think about you know certain shit like that don't really um you, you know a little more to your point i just thought about this too and to what danny's saying i think one of the this is pretty sad too i think one of the last things men kind of learn to value is themselves yeah which is weird you know Please. that's kind of like the last Have thing we check off your, of that list of like yes that you, know, you only get one Dick in this life, but even like one, dick, you get <laughs> like, one, you get one life. Mm-hmm. You know hello. what I'm saying? You get one heart. You get mm-hmm. all of this shit. So like, I just think that's the thing with men. Like a lot of times, I notice like men seem to value themselves last, especially even when it comes to sex. Mm-hmm. We're more thinking about, oh, what the homie's gonna think if I hit this, or you know, what it's gonna do to my ego mm-hmm. versus. Well, I can see how you were raised is a bit different, and yeah, nigga, you too. Yeah, like yeah, you're a there, handsome nigga. dude. I was out you're there, a handsome nigga. guy. Oh, well, thank you me. know, like you guys are different type of but dudes, more. and y'all have way more. <laughs> Get thrown at y'all, way more opportunities. Look at them. Is this one is Danny, I didn't, Danny, I didn't hit a couple. Nigga, I went in the mirror, looked at myself like, "Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you see this dude? I didn't 
looked at a I'm couple that he like. Tell you. <laughs> they are back to memory lane. <laughs> Y'all Lord are knows. hilarious. Lord, I didn't watch the TV like nigga. I hit that one too. <laughs> Jesus, I know. Like I, I got that one too. Nigga. Oh my God! Look, but yeah. see, if I were to say some shit like that, because it's been a couple times, where I was like, oh, <laughs> that's funny. Can we turn the game, please? Watch it, power, and I'm like, oh wow, they, oh wow, you <laughs> <a ghost? laughs> oh, 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 Amari Hartwig. <laughs> Breaking news! <laughs> That's so Yeti funny. got the power, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> you stop that. You stop that. If y'all want to know what happened, I, listen, Danny. I didn't see the I, I didn't see the kind of niggas that like you, Danny. So I already know. <laughs> <laughs> Unless Fifty was on set, cause Fifty seen you, I know he gaffled it. I know Fifty hit you with the. No. But I, I already know. Oh, hilarious. you guys. Because I, I met I, I met him before. Never kiss and tell, but I met yeah. him before, so I know I know his vibe. He's a cancer. Shout out Who to... Who was he? Who are you talking about? To 50 Cent. 50. Oh, I didn't want to talk about 50. Oh. Are you name dropping? That's what... I, oh, Danny hooked up with 50, no, y'all. Put it on said, the blog. Because you said 50. I you said Amari right. Hardwick, nigga. I was talking and then about then you said Then you said 50. I said no, but I know it wasn't 50. Oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. If it was 50, said. you wouldn't be here. <laughs> so that's how I know. Yeah. <laughs> I was he in this video though. Yeah, but you wouldn't I be here, nigga. Though. I already know how you get down, nigga. <laughs> he already <laughs> just yeah. go and snatch him up like that. Yeah, that nigga be shopping on Instagram, Curtis. nigga. <laughs> oh, Curtis. Not Curtis. Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Oh. So then but has, I was. I was in his very first two of his videos. Wait, um, Disco one? Inferno and um, what? what? And uh, but no, but I was in the I'm DJ booth. Up, Don't do that because that up. was an after hours one. That was the naughty one. I forgot what they, they used to call 50 it. Cent. Spread the rumor, y'all. Oh, that is so not Let's true. Let's get the show popping. You guys, you better stop that. That is absolutely. Let's get the not show popping. Spread the rumor. Absolutely not true. <laughs> Just so do not send yeah. that man after me. He will demolish me. And 50 I don't have a flame with that. That is 50. I never said this. Please don't. She buy never it said it. 50. I said it. You can mm-hmm. No. Right. Oh, that's a lie. I've never yeah. shook hands with that man. Yeah, we were just in a couple of videos, you know. I was, but I never, never. I was just watching some older um, 2000 videos. Videos used to be a lot funner. We were, it was so much fun. It was a lot, it looked like y'all was having fun, like a good it time. It was you know? so much fun. Oh, do you know that they had the nerve to tell me? I will say it here. My agent, okay, Carrie Lee. In fact, I got put off the set. How about that? Oh, wow. They said that I was too big. What? I was big back in the day. How big you did it? But I mean, I'm just saying. Like, I was like 140. That's pretty big. (laughs) (laughs) You saw his face. (laughs) Daddy, only five feet, y'all. Okay, so right now it would be thick. So right now I'd be thick. He stopped talking. He was like, yeah, that was pretty big. Yeah, yeah they I've been did. On set like, uh, he literally uh, was like, uh, "I love you, I love yeah, you." Uh, put her in the but DJ the camera booth, don't this is love crazy. it. He said the camera don't. This yeah, because the camera do make you look bigger. He like, said it adds on ten yeah, pounds. Yeah. Like, on I camera, was. I'll look like the motherfucking rock and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, they do. So yeah, he has, he kindly escorted me off the set. Oh, wow. I was like, damn. Yeah, they, I mean, yeah. not escorted, but he was right. just like, like, you got to Like, go. damn, you like, escorted? Well, as I was eating. Uh, <laughs> uh, where is the big chick at? As I was eating craft services. <laughs> and craft services. He was just like, I'm going to just let you know. And I was like, oh. Well, thank Danny, you like, for Danny not eating wasting the sandwich. What do you mean I'm too big? <laughs> After I've been there for two hours. Thanks a lot. You got like, paid though, right? That was messed up. Um, I don't even recall, to be honest with you. Sure you I think I pay. did kind of make a fuss about it. That, they used to have nice at that point, my phones were hurt. So <laughs> knowing me at that time, but this was so long ago. Come on, the in the club video. I mean, man. what's wrong with my? T- I mean, come on, Danny. He was is a fitness video, so you got to be in shape, you know. Uh, in the club, you in the club. No, I remember he started the video working yeah, out. Yeah, he working oh, out upside down. Right on the that's treadmill. Right. Yeah, that oh, was the whole thing. So it wasn't you. Good. You know? I didn't say I, I mean, was it was in, you, I mean, but... I was in a club and dang, so we all it's a, now if it was Kanye's workout video, okay then I get it. But it oh, come on now. I mean club. in the club So today it would have been just fine. You today was big, you was big right. in the club. He didn't want you big in the club. <laughs> 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 oh, that is funny. Wait, I did like the women that used to be in the video. Vibrator though, toy you know? and her. Wait, who is this the Viso I just I just blocked it. I yeah, what the hell is he talking about? I don't know. I don't even know how people start the energy to do that kind of stuff. Like, right? I know. Like, what are we doing, bro? Like, I niggas know. is still spamming really niggas. Trolls like, come on, on bro. YouTube. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, send a Instagram cash app, nigga. I get it. Oh, yeah. I know. You're trolling on YouTube? Like, that's crazy, nigga. Fucking weird. Yeah, who copy and paste, bro? Send a cash app, nigga. Like, what are you doing? You're a weirdo. Right? Exactly. 
Anyway, so what were we talking about? You was, we was talking about uh, women, you know. About the approach. About the approach, right. Okay, so, and then you gave gold diggers fabulous advice, and I appreciate that Yeah, so just much. be a little more subtle. Ladies. Which is just, yeah, just stroke their ego. Yeah. And then how do you slide in the, can I get a... You would even, this is the thing, if you ever have to ask your man for something, you're doing something wrong. Mm. That's a hundred percent. Men, like as a man, I always just want to do something for my wife if I can. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, because it, it makes me feel good. So mm-hmm. it's not even really for her. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? As a man, it's, it's really just stroking your own ego. You know. So what man? What if you just weren't that? taught that? As a man? Yeah. I think you. Most men are not taught that, but I think you discover. I that. think it's something instinctive, though. Yeah, you discover. Right. Like you take a woman out on dinner. Yeah. You know, you feel good. Like, oh, should I pay for the dinner and shit, yeah. nigga? We went out. We had a good time. She mm. feel good. I feel good. We I look like good. that. Like, it's a thing, like, I think you just, like, Lamar said, But, like, never, like, okay, can I have, um, you know, I get my nails done every, you know, two to three weeks. Or my hair done. Or a light bill or gas bill. Or, like, is it limited to just outings that you benefit from, too? No, I think, I don't know. No, like I said, <laughs> for, for me, at least, it makes me feel good. You know what I'm saying? So, like, like I don't know when my wife gets her feet done. Sometimes she does it herself. I have no idea what the schedule of the toes is. Mm-hmm. But not too long ago, I seen her feet, and I was like, yeah, fuck up with your toes, nigga. So I, just, <laughs> I hit her on the cash app. Like, nigga, here, uh, take, the, take a little hundo and go down to the Asian woman and get your... <laughs> go to the little Asian Take care of your joint, you know what I'm saying? But, but it wasn't because anything else, but I was just like, I just like, like her feet done. Mm-hmm. I was like, maybe, I don't know, maybe you just didn't have no feet money. Who cares? Mm-hmm. But here, just go get your feet done. Aww. But I'm just saying, for most women, I'm just saying, if you... If you want a man to take care of you, just take care of the man's ego. Mm. And that should be suffice enough for him to say, you know what, let me just go ahead. <laughs> and how does one take care of one's ego? Boudini Brown. Muhammad oh, Ali's just, training. Oh, you're just make the him, best. Just make him feel good. I know I'm losing the fight, nigga. I don't need you to tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what most women do. Most women do that shit. I don't, nigga, I know I'm losing. Nigga, I don't need you to tell me that, nigga. <laughs> the fuck? But that could be the difference <laughs> yeah. of me winning. You pumping me up. Yeah. Then the your thoughts become reality. So if you put positive thoughts in my mind, nigga, I'm going to change my actions. Every time. Because then I'm be like, damn, she believing me more than me, nigga. I yeah. got to step up. So I got to step up. That's that's mm. how it works. Women just don't get that about niggas. Yeah. You just got to lie to a nigga. Mm. You the greatest, nigga. He can't fuck with you. You the greatest. You going to get that job. He'll go to work like, nigga, I'm finna get this motherfucking job, nigga. And he'll fuck around and get the job. Yeah. I, with okay. no skill. So I just do that naturally. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, just pump a man up. That's Have all you Have a great, wonderful day, baby. I know you can do this. You got this. You got this. Be specific, though. Gas is ego. Really mm-hmm. light that motherfucker on fire. You know what like I'm saying? what? Especially like, what else can I do? Everything. What you talking about? Like, okay, so you're the best. You got to tell him why. Oh, my God, you're such a great father. Yeah. The way that you provide. Yeah. Sim- no, you got you to go simple. Because men are simple. You know what I'm saying? Those provide. Are the- yeah, but see, that's too broad. You got to say simple things. Oh. Like, I love the way you dress. You know what I'm saying? Your shoe game is crazy. You know? I love the way you brush your beard. <laughs> simple shit. Cause that nigga- <laughs> Listen, because a nigga will be in the mirror next time. Making I'm sure that motherfucking beard is on crisp, <laughs> nigga. Like, nigga, that said she I like love that motherfucking it. beard, nigga. I'm finna get this motherfucker. <laughs> Make sure that nigga had beard oils, nigga, all on the <laughs> counter. Watch it happen. A woman told me I had nice shoulders in junior high school. Nigga, I've been he doing shoulders in the gym, ever since. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he was nigga. shoulder shrugged up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker, next week, nigga. Shoulder game on point, nigga. Like, man, this nigga. That my, is hilarious. I'm just, just telling you how niggas is programmed, man. <laughs> That's funny. Is that true, you guys? And Willie, is that true? A woman told him more. She like him in a tank top. Corey. This nigga ain't put a shirt nah, on. Nah, you there. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Corey. Corey gives a... He... I'll, I'll, he doubles down on that one. What did Corey say? He deleted the message. He Corey. said that that works if your dude loves you. Oh wait, no, Jane. Oh Jane, hi Jane. Oh my God, I didn't even see Jane was in here. In the oh my God, oh my God. Hi, Jane. Hey I'm Jane. Dana, is this Dana Dane? Um, is that Dana Dane or Dana Dorsey? That's Dana. That's Dana Dane. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, hey, what do you think about what Jane Smith said as a woman, Danny? Okay, so okay, so <laughs> he who thinks okay, no, 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 no. Okay, so what did Jane Smith said? She said that works if if the dude loves you. If okay, not, but... he thinks you're just he he's got you whipped. So, oh. so, what do you think as a woman? 
Mm. It depends on how the woman. Everything is about energy. So it's like how it's not. Remember how they say it's not what you say, but how you say it. So. So, yeah. OK. So, OK. So to Jane Smith, I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's true what she said, mm-hmm. you know, um, this is- and how soon it is. Like, it depends on if that's your man. But I don't I don't, I think that you, if you stroke someone's ego, like even if they do. No, I don't think it's about I mean, for men, I don't know. Do you guys agree with what she said? I think. See, I think because Jane, I'm not a god, so I right. wouldn't know. I, well, I was gonna but say, I think Jane Smith is thinking about the wrong way. A man yeah. wants you with. See, see, as a man, I want my woman to desire me more than I desire her. Well, right? Anish, you, <laughs> what the hell are you willing no. to do for that to happen? No. See, what are see, you see. Willing now, to whether do it's true or not, I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> <laughs> but whether it's, whether it's a fact or oh, not, I don't her care. Think I don't care if it's true or not. That she just wants you 24-7. I just want the feeling that my woman desires me. That's what a man wants. Oh, well, that's... You want to be... Because you don't... As a man, you don't get that. Yeah. You're, all, you're always really chasing. We you're don't walk out we're always get, chasing. Desi- yeah, that's... Like, women well, do you do. That shit. Yes, you do. I look, I'm not... I'm different. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm speaking for other niggas. <laughs> I was like, I done heard something. Crazy shit these bitches have said to this, this nigga man. Lamar went, I'm talking about regular niggas. <laughs> and I'm not talking about me, niggas. The regular. Regular I'm niggas. Like, um, Look, I'm like, I'm though. <laughs> but you get what I'm, you get what I'm ladies saying. Be honest, man. Men like to be desired. Crazy you know? shit. Men want to be desired. It just don't happen often. So if you have a woman that desires you as a man, it makes you feel great. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. And, okay, and if you so say, if a woman's saying that's whipped, then that's what a nigga want. Okay. But I don't think a woman likes a whipped man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A woman... It's kind of sticky if you're all up on your woman, nigga. She might start looking at you like, you want to do my toes, nigga. What's that? <laughs> Some women like that, though. So it just really, I guess it depends on you as a person. Daddy. You know? Okay. Um, uh, do you want a nigga all up on you? See? Just look at her face. <laughs> I mean, I, I thought I did. And then I got it. And then I was like, ooh. Yep. Like, what's and all just... up on you? What's the definition of that for you? Like, um, like. For calling me more than. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, you even like this nigga. Two times a day. Like, like what the motherfuck? If we texted, what is the? Maybe because in the last relationship well, we, we just uh, only texted, so I was okay with that. Uh huh. When he caught when you, <laughs> when you were caught, I was just okay because I'm not a phone person. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm more. I like to communicate like that. But like, then it depends on the on the dude. If he calling you and he ain't got shit to talk about, then you're like, All right, right. You know, so, didn't like him, but yeah. it's still like so right. It's, but like, nigga, like I'm on my way. Like, what are we talking about? But right it's, now? like, like <laughs> I said, it's it's the energy. Your game got to be tight I'm if on you're going. My way. Why are we talking? Like, can you Damn. let me get dressed? <laughs> 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 she's like nigga i just talked to you 30 nigga, seconds ago you know what okay so there was a debate too and i got into it i've been getting into it with these some of these men <laughs> some of these men <laughs> on, on these uh these little uh posts okay so like the post was of the girl the who was the wife of a former former NFL player and she had an OnlyFans. NBA player. So, uh, was it NBA player? Joe Smith, former number one okay. pick of Ooh. the Golden State Warriors. Oh, see, my his bad. Uh, his current wife it was an ex porn star. Oh well, then come on. Yeah, who he met um, by hitting her up through her uh, sites. Come um, on, um, you met her. But he's, now, Danny, I now let Danny tell it because I want to know what Danny thinks. I mean, but you his, met. Her. Let me say <laughs> so what, he said, what he said. Kinda, let me tell you what he said. Why we, okay. He said that he just thought it was disrespectful that she didn't bring it to the table first because they're in a marriage. So he just thought it was something they should have decided together in the marriage. Her thought was she has bills that need to be paid. She's not cheating on him. She's doing basically what he met her doing. Mm-hmm. So it's her body, her choice. What's mm-hmm. the problem? Correct. So I mean, I would have just, I mean, at that point, what the hell did you expect, Joe Smith? Like, what did you think you was going to get? Like, oh, so because you was going to marry her and then she was going to be respectable? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, <laughs> is that true or not? That's like, what we think I mean, what a wedding ring was going to give her values and morals and etiquette and way to move in a marriage? Like, stop it. Like, I don't know. I don't know what you expected, Joe Smith. In the man community, we call those goofies. Yeah, he a goofy for mm-hmm. sure. We call those like Shelly's husband? No, Tony knows who he is. Oh, okay. Tony's not delusional. See, I yeah, don't even. I shouldn't speak on people that I've never met, yeah. but just no, according to, no, 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 just but, according to from what I've heard from we, so many different resources, we all thought the same just thing. Just watching the show, and we all thought the know. same thing about Tony. And when we met Tony, right, mm-hmm. we was like, oh no, oh shit, no, 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 he's not. This nigga is Tony. He knows. Oh, so he, he is. knows. But like somebody like Joe Smith, he probably went after her because he thought he was cool. Mm-hmm. He thinking like oh like you said oh like I'm a changer because I'm Joe Smith oh not no one no nigga oh goofy. like Ginger from Casino right no nigga like you, Sam exactly. Rothstein thought that he was going I'm Sam Rothstein exactly. I could change if I can run this fucking casino I could certainly tame not Ginger no one, you a goofy nigga right like nigga you're lame you're she goofy. been told you what she was about right. she been I gave it was talking to her ex on her wedding day he was giving her the go ahead right <laughs> like you go ahead and do this for us. <laughs> Yeah. And I always love you. She wait what on her wedding day was because you know she was on the phone. She was like you know he was, she had to get pumped up to really go through with this shit because she missed her ex. Oh wow. Yeah, who was oh. a pimp and a drug dealer played by the best motherfucking actor that he movie. he nailed that damn role. I don't care what nobody else says. Best supporting actor. Give it to I'm James fucking Woods. James Woods. He did play played like a shady, that role. A shady pimp dude. He did. Do oh, he played that role. Oh, he was so good. You guys, please, can I get an amen on that? I'm telling oh, you, uh, Joe Pesci is always gonna be Joe Pesci. Sam Rothstein, always Sam Rothstein. Ray Liotta, rest in peace. He's always gonna play his role. But James Woods did that freaking. He was completely scene, out of character. What movie was this? Casino. Casino. Oh, 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 look, Daddy, oh, yeah. speaking of characters, Corey Roberts actually hit this right on the head. Shelly and Tony is more compar- comparable to Laura Winslow in uh, Urkel. Aw, <laughs> oh, that's 100%. cute. hundred percent. Like, that's, that's exactly... <laughs> or Will and Jada? No. Will and Jada, <laughs> Will and Jada is more Joe Smith in this girl. Oh! Because <laughs> Jada, Jada, I met Jada. Oh, she gangster. Yeah. Like, she from Everyone, Baltimore, Everyone, a nigga, lot like, of people compare me bro, to her that know her no, no, and know me. She's rougher than you, nigga. She's way rougher than you, Danny. Oh, and I've seen you, and I've seen you kind of get upset, nigga. She's way more like, oh, she's crazy, nigga. Yeah, yeah. like she was slamming money, talk. Like I was like, nigga, what the oh, fuck yeah. is going? Oh, so like, you can tell when she's I talking about Tupac and shit. That's her that's... energy. Her <laughs> energy is that. So I just don't think Will Smith that kind of nigga. Like he not finna get up he's there, silly. and that's why he like her so he's much. Silly. He's like, he's like, he got a more feminine energy sometimes. So it's just like. Oh, she got a. She, she, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to call him Will Feminine. No, it look. He, he is a French that French. That is I am legend. Yes. Yeah, that is I am. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. And I say <laughs> this. Save the world. I say this. Mike Long. Okay, let's just say he has a soft. He has a softer energy than she does. See, but uh, okay, I I agree with you, but I think that he he does that because he 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 a, he a cornball. He don't know that women don't like that. Yeah. Women want a nigga like Tupac. Yeah. <laughs> fuck these bitches, nigga. That's what That's women why I want. Fuck your bitch, you fat motherfucker. <laughs> Take it, money. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what niggas want. That's what niggas and bitches want, man. They don't. No woman ever seen Will like. <laughs> nigga, did you see the heart the just come out of my that eyes? Nigga, Tupac thugged out, nigga. Yeah, it's all about balance, yeah. you know. So Aww. I just, yeah, I just think Will didn't get the energy. He he should have got. He should have stayed with his original wife. Cause I met her, mm-hmm. and they have more of kindred spirits. Even though she's kind of cutthroat too. Who's Sheree? Sheree. Sheree's a beautiful woman. Oh, she's Sheree's super, fine super as nice. shit. She's I dope. love Sheree. Real down to, earth. to this day, she's um. So she yeah. makes appearances on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Okay. Shout out to Sheree. I love baby. Sheree. I met her a couple of times. She's dope. Oh, she's, she's so really, bad. Really dope. She is bad. She's like one of them bad aunties. <laughs> like she for got real, the. For real. <laughs> no, for real. Daddy's like, right. Daddy's right. for real. Like on me. Yeah. Like I feel like that's what I'm. Aspire yeah. to. Be, I just want to be half as fine as she is when I, mm. when I get her age. And when you see her soft, and when you which see is Will, not that far off. I'm like a junior. Twenty three. We talking about? Nigga. I mean, you know. 
He's uh, 20, 23. Shout out to your daughter. I know. I was like, well, actually, I have a 23 <laughs> year old, but. <laughs> Keep her off of Instagram, She's... Danny. Stop doing that, nigga. I know. Stop and everyone posting. says Stop that, too. Your daughter I with you, know. I don't tag her. You don't see that? Yeah, I, don't, I don't tag her. They're going to find her, nigga. Uh, <laughs> 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 they they gonna find Why did my people at my start, like, the security guard was like, dang, I saw your daughter? Yeah. He was like, she fine. I, I was sp- like, don't you ever say my daughter's fine like that. I had, I had that. to scroll fast. Nigga, I said, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> said, no, nigga, I'm not even finna hit. Nope. <laughs> he was like, she fine. And she chocolate, too. I said, no, yes, nigga, let exactly. me go exactly. What you this. thought? <laughs> what you thought? I love black men. What I you thought? That quick, I said, well, I no. hell off. I thought you was with a friend. I said, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Mark Howard. Shout out to Mark Howard. Why did Mark Howard hit me? It was like, <laughs> he Dang. said, I saw the picture that you posted of you and your beautiful daughter. He was like, and I was sitting right next to you. He was like, I used to think that you looked so young. He was like, but next to her, you look like a mama. Yeah. <laughs> was like, you was such a mama. Mamas is fine now, though. I it's was weird, like, nigga. I, when I was you a kid, can tell that's your daughter and you the mama. <laughs> the more I think about this, bro. <laughs> I know. When I, know I was a kid, nigga, it was one fine sister. mom, nigga. <laughs> yeah. I seen one fine mom my mm-hmm. whole life as a child, nigga. Mm-hmm. Now... I see these kids in the mall, yeah. and I be like, "Nigga, that's your mama." It's yeah. even like the teachers yeah. too. Think about teachers. Bro, teachers were like all, all old and, and and ugly. And yeah, you oh, like no. that? I you remember a I had a crush on my fifth grade teacher. Her name was Miss um, Pilar. Miss Pilar. I didn't know name Pilar. Hello. Oh, she was fine. She Shout was only like Pilar, twenty. Huh? She was twenty-five. I remember because she said her age. So that's oh, why I was wow. like, dang, is that why I like her? And she used to let me, like, clean up the room and, like, be her assistant. She knew, like, I liked oh, yeah. her. And she used to use me, like. That, that <laughs> was your, your first and teacher that, like, crush? And that, like, she'd be teaching. Yes. Oh, yeah. I, mm, yeah. It it's all about a teacher crush. Yeah. I had a crush on teacher. I learned grade. how to masturbate because of her. Damn, what? Dang, fifth grade. I know. <laughs> I was humping a pillow. Yeah, perverted. And actually, remember that back in the day? Grade. Humping a pillow? Remember that back in the day? Yeah, it was sixth grade. That's when I started okay. humping a pillow. You know what's weird about you just 12. saying that? You know what's weird about you saying I'm that? late bloomer. Hmm. I humped a Wait, pillow, too, yeah. as a kid, okay? Wait, what? You ever humped a pillow as a kid? No. I did. So I thought I was the only person on the planet who did this, so I never said this ever anybody uh-huh. it's so weird that you humped a pillow oh yeah so i wonder if that's just like an innate thing because nobody discussed this with me mm-hmm. it was just i was just i don't know how it happened yeah Nigga, i humped a pillow yeah day. thinking about my sixth grade teacher i don't know Ms. what i was thinking Pilar. About, shout yeah. out to miss Pilar. Dope. i never yeah. humped a pillow sorry and she was it. yeah she was so pretty she was um indian or persian one of them mm-hmm. she was bomb you know me ha <laughs> that's how i knew i started i was just like oh yeah this is in me because i wanted to be friends with all the pretty girls like mm-hmm. I wanted them. You know how some girls would just get jealous. I was like, "What? Like, I want to be around pretty girls. Mm-hmm. Like, I want her to be my friend. Like, that, that could, yeah. <laughs> I want to kick it with her. I want to spend the night over her house. I want her to spend the night over my house. <laughs> like, I want to see her naked. I want her to see me naked. Whoa, like, whoa, it was whoa. weird, but I mean, I did. This goes deep. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wasn't a sexual thing. It was. I think it was more of like an experimental thing, yeah. but. I definitely liked you probably just admired pretty her. women. You know? Hmm? You probably just admired her. I did. And yeah. that was a thing. Like, and, and they admired me, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what's crazy? Anyway. No, I'm <laughs> saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, was, I was smashing. <laughs> like, well, I was smashing a lot in high school, right? And I had a teacher. I had a high school teacher named Miss Green. I had a huge crush on her. She looked just like uh, Regina uh, Greer on the Steve Harvey show. The principal. The chick oh, the oh yeah, looked yeah, dead, yeah, looked yeah, dead yeah. on her. Raquel Robinson. Yeah, looked dead on her, but she wore like glasses, right? Uh-huh. Gorgeous woman though, and I had the biggest. But I was like, damn, I can't holler at her. She a teacher, you mm-hmm. know. I didn't think I had no chance. Nigga, I seen her husband. Nigga, I was so disappointed, bro. You're like, it was this yeah. little short Mexican dude. Oh, that ground st- Nigga, everybody in the school was like, nigga, what the <laughs> fuck, Regina? <laughs> oh my, it was, we was all no, and she Regina, was, we, huh? and we only met him the day she left the school. Like he came up there to help her get her stuff out. And we was like, nigga, this shit, nigga. You're like, damn, I, I should have shot my shot. I could have hit for sure. Right. I could have yeah. hit. I could have hit. 100%. Stay after class. Which is 100% hurt. I would have hit the teacher, yo. Would you have hit her and let you, Danny, wait? What? What, no, what does she was in fifth grade, bro. What are you talking about? I know, no, I know, no. That would be weird. Yeah, that's weird, bro. Yeah, it would be weird. What? Yeah. Even though it happens more often now, it seems like. It does. I was watching Fist Fight. Did you, have you ever seen no, that with uh-uh. Ice Cube and, 
and oh, it was funny. I mean, it just oh, happened to be on VH1. They, they in school, right? He's yeah. like a teacher. Or yeah, something. they're yeah. both teachers. Yeah. I skipped. him and the short, the, yeah. the white dude from uh, it's Everything. always sunny in Philadelphia or something like that. Um, or the Office. The, I think he was on it, the Office too. Was he? Yeah, but anyway, he was on vacation. He was on a whole bunch of shit. He was he was hilarious. He was. Oh, uh, uh, and Willie said he shot his shot after he graduated high school, and he went back and got it. Oh. He went back and got it. It's, Lamar, did you go through that phase? What? Like, so, you know, most men, they go through a phase where, you know, they, they might get some women, but they ain't really, they got to work for it. Then you get to a point where it started to come a little easy, and you start backtracking on all the ones you missed. Oh, yeah. And you <laughs> yeah. you did the same thing? Yeah. I did it for, like, like two months straight, nigga. Like, I, I went and hunted down every woman that told I, me. I, no. didn't, I didn't hunt. Oh, no, I went hunting. No, I didn't hunt. Oh, like, no, yeah. you know, at life kind of put me in the same places as mm-hmm. you know but you was intentional about people. it and then it was just like they was on me like you know this nigga, he a victim oh, this nigga yeah, no it's, I, I i'm there. not saying i'm a victim I but it was i was minding my business, yeah, I was I was minding my business. <laughs> life as I'm you know i was on my motorcycle being a respectable <laughs> individual that i am and life just happened to put me in certain circumstances yeah. whereas, i just be chilling you know these women were just <laughs> You know they they were they couldn't resist it. They couldn't resist it, <laughs> and that's just how the cookie crumbled. But <laughs> who am I to judge? No, I'm but saying. Who am I to judge? No, I'm saying. I'm trying to live my life. Who am I to interfere with the Lord's plan? <laughs> <laughs> the Lord put her. This nigga said, "The Lord put her in my path." I didn't, right, really, I didn't, right. I didn't really change nobody. It's right. I was a, I'm on my faithful journey and <laughs> yeah, walk. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually working on being the better me. You know? Right. And, uh, I was healing, and then she came along, and this nigga was more. Uh, right. That's funny. Corey said, "Nah, Tony is a goofy Danny. You right." <laughs> Thank you, Corey. Hey, Robert. Shelly, love it though, nigga. So you can that say was, what you want, nigga. That's funny. You can say what you want. Shout out to shout out okay. to Cody. So is so how do we feel about Jada and Will at this point when she, you know, like I mean, you know, she definitely doesn't miss the opportunity <laughs> to speak her mind. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, she's However, she's that may reflect on her man, but um, how do we? Is that her fault or is it anyone's fault? Do we care? Um, that's their business. He ain't going nowhere. What her? And um, yeah, he already stated. Like this to he said death. He's never gonna he leave never, her. Like, hey, we'll like her. I love her. Yeah. I, I was telling That's my daughter. I was like, Audrey, like, I might date her. She was like, Mom, not her. And I said, Why? <laughs> I said, I was looking at Jada like, Dang, Jada kind of sexy. Like, I might, you know, shoot my shot. Oh, she is. She is. And so, <laughs> my daughter was like, No, Mom, she's a narcissist. I said, Audrey, why would you say such a thing? And she said, Mom, because look at how she totally manipulates the situation. I was like, dang, like she said in every situation, she was like, she, you know, let him, Will slap the shit out of Chris. She didn't let him. Like, yeah. I how mean, she but gonna, because she reacted, because she reacted. Yeah, if a nigga did she reacted. My wife, you know, the nigga, first of all, Chris Rock hollered at her. That's that was the issue. Yeah. You tried to you tried to fuck my wife behind my back, nigga. Oh, That's why I slapped see, you. I'd say yeah, I that was true. And that was just the straw that broke the camel back. That's it. Right. And it as was, a man, you know, there's only a few things yeah. that you can do. To yeah. make me just say, fuck everything, yeah. nigga. I'm going right. If right. you spit on me, nigga, oh. or if you disrespect my wife, I yeah. got to go right now. Yeah. I can't wait till we get and home. And we only, we already only know what we saw earlier. on TV. We don't right. know everything that goes into that relationship between yeah. them three. You Jada know? said he tried to holler at her. Yeah, nigga. so. He tried to hit, nigga. So, you know? I'm slapping you, nigga, when I see you. Straight up. Hey. Will was like, man, I gave this nigga too many passes. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, you must think I'm a bitch. Yeah. That's, that's what Will was thinking. Yeah. Oh, you must think I'm a bitch. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nigga, let me let me show you. Because quick, I nigga. gave you so many passes, and now I gotta show you in the world, nigga. Yeah, I'm gonna do it in front of everybody. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he was right in the in the, obviously in a in a because because it's a black man and nobody wants to see that. But I was raised, so I can't judge Will because I was raised the same way, nigga. Like do it in front of the world, nigga. So you ain't gotta do it again. Yeah. And look, back in the day, when shit wasn't civil like this. Niggas got killed for nigga, shit like that. Nigga, you had like the that. duel, nigga. Yeah, you had the duel. <laughs> Get your pistol, nigga. Meet yeah, me outside, yeah. nigga. Okay. Fuck yeah, all so. that. Take how many paces? Yeah. Ten paces. <laughs> and try to guess the color of my shoe Ten laces. Ten paces and the turnaround so draw. For him, I think that was an easy get off for him to just get That's slapped. Shit, like, you know? Niggas did get killed for less, nigga. So that's yeah. real shit. That's real shit. 
Oh, dang. Okay, so, ooh, okay, ooh, this chat line is popping. This is a juicy topic. I love it. Okay, so Jane Smith said, I don't think Jada has done anything wrong to Will. Jada's the token black woman to be blamed for other people's actions. <laughs> and then Big Jay <laughs> Dallas added Jane and said, for real? <laughs> That's the worst of Westbrook me. Wait, I know, I know. I was like, my little dumb heart is in the way. Hold on, I'm trying to read this shit. Okay, hold on. Said so she sleeps with her son's friend, and she's yeah, that was crazy. Oh yeah, yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, that's the only thing I gotta fall back. Like, yeah, that was too. I forgot about the August Alcina thing, but in it's no buts, Danny. It's too many niggas on the earth. That would sleep with Jada Pickett for her to do that to her son. And this is the thing with me. What about like, if he cheated too? And had, we know that he that's did. That's cool, but you embarrassed me, nigga. That's that's the oh, problem. Oh yeah. Even if we had an agreement, but we all that, knew that he was having an affair with Margot Robbie. But that's cool. But that's cool. That. If we have an agreement, Will Danny, Smith was having an affair with Margot Robbie. Who's which Margot is, Robbie? Who's that? She, Margot See, Robbie. I don't even know who this motherfucker is. I don't even she know. was in Focus. She was Harley Quinn. Oh, she she bad, was in though. Suicide Squad. I don't vote for the white women. I just say she was a bad white woman. But he didn't have to have an affair. But she does. Shorty, she bad. Shorty, oh, man. She's hella fine. bad. Shorty, Shorty bad. She's hella I bad. Like I thought bad. they had like an open. Someone said they had like yeah. an open marriage. Or okay, something so like then that. why get so, mad that I fucked my son's friend? Because you embarrassed me, Danny. Right. Why is that embarrassing if we all know because, the time? But because everyone don't need don't to know y'all personal shit. Look at like, who we compared it to. Like, I, I, don't I hit, be I hit, the, I hit Holly Quinn, nigga. You hitting yeah. August yeah. Alcina? Yeah. What are we doing, <laughs> nigga? Right. You're making me look bad. Shorty, no, step no. it up. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> get you an Idris or something, nigga. Like, you step it up. Who said Idris? <laughs> I think they vibed on the sickly tip, though. Maybe they. You know, or, she was just helping him with his ailments, and he was helping her emotionally. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. and phys- and that turned physical. I don't yeah, know. Man. Anyway, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, that's their business. At the end of the day, you know. Yeah, and he's we okay only know with it. what we are showed by the media, but they know the truth. And if they happy. I'm happy for him. That was your son's Period. Daughter, would it be? Oh, so they're going back and forth on this one. <laughs> My people playing Jada because they see her as the masculine. Oh, Maxo. What happened? <laughs> Maxo. Wait a minute, Maxo. Is that people the People blame argument? Jada because they see her as masculine. Is, what is Maxo? I want to see his face. Is that a hamburger? Is that a pimp? What is that? It looked like a pimp. So, Danny, do you think Jada wants Will to be more aggressive to her? I mean, that's never going to happen. The dynamic is yeah, that's hard dynamic. Because even if, if he tries... If he would have tried to come back now, right. Yeah. What do you think? Even Just if he tries, it's not, it's not him. <laughs> so it's going to come off corny. Like, you know? Right. Yeah. Like, nigga, go fucking yeah. save the world. Get the fuck out my face, you fucking pussy. <laughs> fuck out my face. But do you think, like, she wants him to, like, like... Be no, aggressive with her, or, or just she likes who he is, and she just gonna no. do her. They she were likes, cool she in likes the moment. I think they were friends, yeah. just like me and my ex husband. It just is what it is. Like right. we're cool, you know. We were never supposed to get together, but we did, and it was fine. But it didn't last. But we're still friends. You know what I mean? And I'll always be in his life. He'll always be in mine. Like it just is what it is. He helped me raise my kid. Like I'll always pay him that respect. And anyone in my life knows that. Right. That right. I will. You know, moving forward, like. You know, there's nothing sexual between me and this man, but he is, you know, my family. So yeah. that's just is what it is. So, yeah, I think it's the same thing with Will and Jada. Like, you know, but I would never disrespect. Oh, he would never. Like, my ex-husband was not that. He, nah. <laughs> he wasn't that nigga. <laughs> he wasn't Will. Even not that, Will. even he, that, and he, he was not Will. He's not Will. He's just not a pussy. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on a shirt, nigga. I'm not Will. Yeah. I'm not Will. <laughs> I'm not Will. I mean, you can't, but you can't oh. say that because that nigga slapped a nigga on at the whitest Who award you not? show. Not Chris or not Will. <laughs> Or they both. Chris Rock, I, mean. I mean, but you still slap somebody <laughs> on TV Not in front of the world. Spooky. So you got to be some, you know, you can't be all the like, way a bitch to do some shit like that. You a know? nigga like, I, I feel you, Lamar, but I wouldn't have done that unless it was like a bully nigga. Like a nigga like. You think he would have done that to The Rock? If it was a nigga like The Rock, I'm going to do it on stage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's not about it's not about winning the fight. It's not about that. It's about I need to prove to this nigga I'm not no bitch, nigga. I don't give a fuck about your muscles and all that, nigga. I'm gonna dive right here, nigga. We gonna go right here. I don't care. 
So I would do it to a nigga like The Rock, or if it was Mike Tyson <laughs> popping shit. Somebody asked me this, like, what would you Mike Tyson push your mama? Nigga, I'm a fire, yeah, nigga. you got to fight this Nigga, I'm firing <laughs> off the nigga. I don't give a fuck about all that. So that's how I feel, like, if it was somebody where it, it's about the principle. It's not about right. me winning the fight. Right. But if it's a nigga I know I'm finna toss up, nigga, like, I know I'm gonna choke this nigga out. I'm always tweaking to the back, because mm-hmm. I want you to know. It's not about the world seeing me do nothing to you. Mm-hmm. I want you, when you go home tonight, nigga... I don't want you to think about if somebody would have saw this nigga choking me like that, nigga, mm-hmm. it would have been embarrassing, you know? I'd rather that happen to a man. And I don't ever want to embarrass a man because men will kill you behind that. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, if you embarrass <laughs> a man, a man will kill you behind that. Big J Dallas said she came, he came to at the chat room. He added us. He said... <laughs> <laughs> no, but he right he though. Said, That's what he I said thought he too. He came to their home, sick and vulnerable, and she took advantage. And of I, him. I was thinking that too, though. She kind of, you know. Look, I no. mean, I wouldn't fuck my son's friends, okay, or my daughter's it's, it's, friends. It's for still that on him, though. I mean, because I'm bi, it could be either one. But that's disgusting. Those are children. They're, They're babies. Not children. He wasn't. He They're not children. I don't give a damn. You're you are my. I don't care if you're 23. You're my child's age. Nah, I get what you're period. saying. Period. I'm gonna get, look at you I get like what she's saying. But I mean, th- he's well, not a child. For, okay, so this is the only. This is my only disclaimer. Jason Tatum. That's the only. See, nigga. see. Okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah. now we, all of a sudden we got an asterisk. I don't know him. who's Jason. T- I don't know these actors' names. No, he shit. played for the Celtics. Oh, okay. Yeah, he played for the Celtics. Yeah, I don't know who. That is. This nigga said Jason. Mm. T. Right, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> I know somebody that know the nigga. I can hook, I can, I can let you meet him. I know somebody that know him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we can get yourself the ticket. You know what I'm saying? I'm just hey man, listen. Saying, this is I'm just favorite. saying. He yeah. better not come to my motherfucking house sick. <laughs> Hey, listen, y'all tag Jason Tatum, nigga. She said I'm taking advantage. Everybody tag Jason Tatum in this episode. We trying to get Danny some tickets to the Celtics oh, game when they come no. to LA. Dan- no. Jason Tatum. <laughs> Danny, Danny is your biggest fan. When you come to the city, Don't you got to come on the podcast. Biggest, biggest we gonna get, We're going to get Jason Tatum on your his podcast, His son Danny. is so sweet, too. It, no, don't try to soften it with his son, yeah. nigga. Yeah. 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 Little old juice. Little old juice. I come on a freaky Friday. Jason Tatum. Give trace. <laughs> Hey, listen, man. Y'all tag Jason Tatum, man. I don't man. give him a trace, honey. Let's let's make Danny dreams come true. <laughs> let's get Jason Tatum up Stop. here. Stop. That's how I know. That's how uh. I know which nigga from Power you try to holler at. <laughs> you like them Jason Tatum kind of niggas. Stop. That's not true at all. <laughs> you like them light skin? No, Danny, I don't. I, I That's met. the whole thing about it. I don't even like light Danny. skin. You about the lightest, the, the last person what about I thought the that was cute. What about the homie? Jason Tatum. No, what about No Limit? Oh, he's not light skinned. That nigga ain't a dark nigga. He is his complexion. And you know this nigga. You talking about what's the name? Yeah. Every nigga what you know. We the same. We the every same. Every nigga you know is Lamar. My complexion, <laughs> nigga. We see your pattern, Danny. We see what you're doing, nigga. You over here building niggas up. We see what you're doing. <laughs> Danny got like five niggas that's her I homie. Know. <laughs> I, don't, nigga. I don't know ugly people. This Danny can build her nigga out of five friends, nigga. <laughs> look, I don't know ugly people. I said all the niggas Danny bring around, they all look the same. I was like, what are these niggas? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> like, I'm not even going to say nothing <laughs> anyway. Shout out to Jason Tatum. We getting Jason Tatum Woo! on here. Ooh, Jason Tatum. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. You a Celtic fan, Danny? Hmm. You a Celtic fan? No, no, I'm a Jason Tatum fan. Do you watch? Do you watch? I remember when Allen Iverson was in the league. Women was watching the Sixers, nigga. Like, I mean, no. He I brought mean, a whole If anything, another... I think what's his face was cuter on the Celtics than I don't know. That's Big Baby Davis. He was cuter Glenn to me. Yes. Big Baby. Yes. I okay, shout out to Glenn Davis, nigga. Okay, you got then, one, Glenn. Then, then Ray Allen. Yeah. I mean, nobody. That's Jesus Shuttlesworth, worth. Though, I know man. it was Jesus Shuttlesworth, but Jesus I'd Shuttlesworth. rather do La La than okay and be in La La Land. <laughs> shout out to Rosario Dawson, honey. That bitch is. I mean, oh, that yeah. young lady. Yeah, she was told that. <laughs> it's bad, and she was in. Um, and who's that? Rosario Dawson. Mm-hmm. She was in Independence Day. She was the beautiful. Oh, oh yeah. okay. She was okay, in the okay. first one. Which okay, Hitch? I know who you're talking about. Hmm? Is she in Hitch? That's my different. I'm thinking about. No, that's no, not cool. Oh, she's the other baby about. mama. Yeah, now, yeah. now, now. She, that's another boy, one, Danny. That's I'm bad boy. with names. Um, but she was in Training Day. Mm-hmm. The same one. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. damn. That yeah. was her to play the jail girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was that and her she, first she was in, uh, yeah, yeah, she was in All About the Benjamins, too, right? Yes, she was. That yeah. was her she best was. actor. Yeah. Yes, she was. Yeah. Yes, she that's was. That's a great yeah. movie. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all ain't say All About the Benjamins, that's one of my favorite I'm only going to watch dog. that shit today. I know. And I love her husband, too. Her husband is freaking um, Who Ken. Ba- so Margot Robbie was Barbie. 
And then Ken is her husband, Ryan Gosling. Oh, That's her husband. Oh, they've been together. They got kids. Shout kids out to Ryan. Got, I did not know. Yes, Ryan. of course right, he did. Ryan. You know he was gonna pull her. You know right, the Ryan. notebook. That nigga was gonna pull the baddest Latina. That nigga did do the notebook. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I almost cried. Eva <laughs> <laughs> almost... Mendez, thank no, you. I still thank haven't you, watched Robert. that movie. Don't watch it, nigga. I, forgot. I almost cried, nigga. It's only two and movies. For you to say I'm something to like that, it's two, it's two movies, it's nigga. It's a real love story. It's two it movies really that is. almost made me cry, nigga. When, when Will, this is why I can't hit on Will. When Will, you know, happy, uh, what's that? Pursuit of happiness, nigga. Pursuit of happiness. When he got the job at the end, James nigga. James Smith, you know better than that, clap, girl. Nigga. I was in the and, theater. And like, Jason oh, Tatum <laughs> is, is bad enough. He's light enough, child. Oh, Don't make me chain and Tatum now. <laughs> <laughs> but in, uh, in the notebook, nigga, when he died Jason at the end. Jason already light as I go ever go. Okay? Oh, you can't tell me. You can't tell me. I don't want you to cry, bro. He get in the bed with his wife and die together, nigga. <laughs> Oh, it's, yeah. incri- it's it's sad. It's the saddest thing you've the ever seen, nigga. Thing. You're like, oh my god, nigga. But they, they spend- died together. Yeah, okay, but you just gotta see it. From you the gotta. Beginning. It don't even matter if somebody tells you, nigga. You can't imagine like how it happened. Like yeah. the it's, war, it's, it's, and then just. It's just oh so my it's god, just like, I wrote you every day. It's like damn, this nigga really oh love her, nigga. Like, like real true sad, love. Like I wasn't supposed to marry you because. You don't have no money, but I really love you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but sad, my mama tried to marry me off with this guy who has money, who's not bad either. He's charming as well, but just is not the sparks not there. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's it's really it's really a good yeah, watch good the love book, story. Yeah. All right. So, any plans for this um, uh, Thanksgiving of uh. Well, what are we calling Thanksgiving? Because are we really celebrating? Kill the Native Day. Right, exactly. No, are we really God. celebrating that with a, their last final supper before they freaking were raped and pillaged? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <clears throat> that's yeah, so that's crazy. Thanksgiving for how, these pilgrims. How everyone's for these people that been came programmed these, with oh, no, these I got, holidays. I got and, a deeper one for you, bro. Somebody it, hit me to this the other day. All the, the holidays that we celebrate in America mm-hmm. are the seven deadly sins. Stop. Gluttony. Was Thanksgiving? It's got to be. What's um uh so Valentine's Day? Uh, St. Patrick's Day is drunkenness. Valentine's Day is uh so, it's whoreness. <laughs> Look, whoreness. Um, yeah, th- uh, I know. Sex. Well, that's with your Valentine though. It's not just no, but they're celebrating all the the seven deadly sins. Like they, Ooh. that's why they made the. What are things. the seven deadly sins? Let's look them up. Yeah, so you know, I don't I'll know. I don't. I don't celebrate holidays. These I celebrate other holidays. I don't celebrate well, these Jehovah's holidays. Well, Jehovah's Witnesses, I told I, you, I the don't, closest thing yeah. you might as well be. I I've been at the point in my life where I forget the holidays. Yeah. I'll be like, oh shit, it's Halloween. I forgot it was Halloween. I didn't dress what? up. What? I know you didn't. I know I, I your did. ass was goddamn. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't do shit. You were. Yeah, I was. Yeah, man, shit. fuck these Did holidays. Jamie have a party? <laughs> I think he did something for the kids. I just oh. can't. I don't understand celebrating death, nigga, and then try to live the rest of the year out, nigga. Like, I just, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah. To me, nigga. Like, I'm Why? cool. I don't want to celebrate I mean... death. I just watch. Listen, man. I just not to bring the show down. I'll make this really oh. quick. I just watch my great grandmother die mm-hmm. in front of my face. Like, take her last breath. Oh, you man. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So it's just not that deep to watch to celebrate death. What yeah. is it? Seven deadly sins. Hit them. Okay, man. the seven deadly sins are. Right. Let's name the holidays that correlate with them. So go. Well, pride. So pride would be what? Get pride month? No. What? Birthdays. 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 Pride, right. Greed. Greed. Christmas. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> yeah, every, you all you want to, everybody I wants things on that. Christmas, wrath. right? Wrath. What's wrath? Being mm-hmm. violent and shit. Fourth of July. <laughs> oh, when, when did everybody get drunk and like hit the streets? New Year's? Envy, lust. That's, oh, lust is Valentine's Day. That would be Valentine's Day. Day. Envy is, ooh, that's green. I don't know. Envy. I what else know. we got on there? Gluttony and sloth. Sloth and gluttony to me are about the no, same. No, so gluttony would be Thanksgiving. Yeah. Because you, you eat to your, your stuff, basically. Yeah. And what is being slothful? What is that? Sloth. That's what I thought. I thought it was greed, too. I think it's like one and the same. That's what I don't know. It? Maybe we don't. Definition of the... sloth. No, we do, nigga. That's pretty close, nigga. <laughs> Five out of seven, nigga. Oh, pretty... laziness. Sloth has to be laziness. <laughs> sloth. Let's see. So, what day do we kind of sit around and just do nothing? Sloth. Uh, New Year's? New Year's? No. Yeah, everything be closed on New Year's. People just be chilling. Mm-mm. I was like, we ain't never closed. Let me see. What is sloth? Why can't I search? Oh, <laughs> the animal. It's the animal. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> sloth behavior. Oh, God. You know, we live Everything in 2023. Everything in their so mama is coming up. Everything is coming up. Sloth sin. 
Laziness and apathy. Yeah, I knew it. Laziness. Okay, so here it is right here. I got it right here. It's look, Christmas greed. New Year's. Um, it says empathy and broken promises. Val- oh, because you're setting false resolutions okay. that you know you're not gonna keep. Valentine's Day, lust. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, St. Patrick's Day, drunkenness. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start posting that under everybody's shit on New Year's. Because you, Look, know, you, you know, know you ain't gonna, gonna do keep. that shit. Easter, right. uh, envy. Um, Easter's con- envy. Yeah. Uh huh. And vanity. Uh-huh. Oh, what? what is vanity? Right. When you think. Birthdays. You- um, no, that, that was so easy. Memorial Day, boasting. Oh, because we won, like, ha-ha, motherfucker. Right. Uh, Independence Day, pride. Oh, wow. Um, Labor Day, slothness, damn. Oh! Damn, I, I forgot about Labor Day. We don't do shit on Halloween, wrath, and violence, witchcraft, mm-hmm. Thanksgiving, gluttony. Oh, wow. Uh, President's Day, idolizing men. Oh. MLK, idolizing the works of men. Oh. Mother's Day, worshiping a, a, a woman, which we're not supposed to do. Oh, whatever. Uh, hilarious. Danny don't agree with that one. Right. So. Oh, whatever. Right. <laughs> April Fool's, lies and trickery. April so, Fool's is, oh, lies, lies and, and trickery. Mother's Day? They say work. I know. What Are about really Father's Day? It was okay to, oh, oh, that was President's <laughs> Day. But no, remember. No, no President's like, Day is idolizing Or even Father's too. Day or Mother's Day. Like, no. the, cause think about this. The good book says... Honor thy mother and, fa- and thy father, right? right? So that's every day. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't set aside it. And think of it, that don't apply necessarily to everybody. But some people don't talk to their parents until Mother's Day, Father's Day. Mm-hmm. Don't do shit to them. Don't say, you know. I know family members that, that are extremely rude to their parents until around that time. Well, you my know, mom, so. you know, y'all know the story. I'm still looking for Furpo Car. So if you see Furpo Car Shout out to the RPO, homie. if you see him, let him know that's that his dog. daughter, his only child, is looking for him. I'm going to run into him. Okay, let him know. I'll be able to work park. Line. I'm going to run into him, then. Hit my line because none of his work. So. Shout out to Furpo. <laughs> I'm going to find you, Furpo. Yeah, find I, him. I want to interview him. Please do. He would love to. I want a book sign too. He may or may not though. He's funny. He it would. just depends. Nah, we got, I got good vibes, man. I remember. I know. Yeah, for you he might, I but I remember. I'm gonna hit him with some Black History facts, and then we're gonna be good after that. <laughs> <laughs> then we gonna be or good. just tell him about himself, but he's a Virgo <laughs> yeah. child, so I'm just a, mention his I'm own. No, nah, I'm a Boudini Brown, and when I see him, like, nigga, is you Purple Car? Okay, you go. exactly. Oh, he is. Oh, yeah, honey, I'm gonna do that now that. It'll work every time. Do <laughs> you already know? Yeah. You know how to get your stuff. I'm a, all right, I'm Finesse a the up. ego. Yeah. Hit it with the ego. Okay, can can we do this now? Can I send you this link so that they can vote for me? Oh, please I do. Send got it to Speedy in and Friends. What okay, you guys. Look. Okay, so look. I've been in this contest Fab for the over past 40. month. Yes, the Fab over 40. Look, and I made it in the top 10. Oh, okay. So, yay. So now. So what? what is... So, so now, I don't know. We just got to keep voting, child. I don't know. You do you, read what, it for what you, me. What do you get? Oh, well. If you win. Here, I'll show you. You're seven. It's place. amazing who the public thinks is good. It says currently in seven. In seven. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Currently we got to get Danny number one. Right? Okay. Oh, you win. Yeah, this. Oh, okay. So, okay. I'll vote for you. you. We split the cash. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, why everybody? <laughs> yes, I'm going to buy y'all drinks. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Oh yeah, you got it. Look at the more space. <laughs> no, I was wondering. Who, <laughs> I was like, oh, who that? Yeah, 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 you talking at? about a fab over forty? Nigga. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's Dolores no, Catania. I was wondering what we. That's at. Dolores Catania. I she's on uh, my house. She's on Real Housewives of um Jersey of New oh, Jersey. Uh, yeah, she's I a bad one, man. I, I love, and God, she's God. no joke neither. I you think tell, that nigga. Jada's? Yeah, her and Jada are like she's an Italian Jada. <laughs> Yeah, like just, she's yeah, and then one of them loyal, and then she been married for a hundred years, so she think everybody else is a whore, you know, but still down and loyal, and she doesn't really think everyone else is a whore, mm-hmm. but she her standards, you know what I mean? The ones that been married for twenty, thirty years, get divorced, only have three boyfriends in their whole life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's one of those. Yep. So how big is this contest, Danny? How many participants? Um, I'm not sure. Is it, like, is it nationwide? I really, do, you know what? Like literally, I don't even know. Um, Wait, I try not to get submerged in it because what you resist persists. <laughs> you know, kind right, of okay, like right, right. You know, like if I, if I just, I mean, I'm not resisting it, but I'm just kind of like not gonna be. As my favorite word today, inundated in it because 
then I'll, you know, I feel like it'll work against me. So, I, I got I'm a, not sure. I got a theory for you. Yes. So, I, I've tried this many times. I, I told my mom to do this. She now has her own shop. Okay, well, tell me. I told me. her to do this. She has a daycare. Yay! It's, it's never not worked. Okay? okay. So, and I got this from the Bible, so I don't want nobody to think I'm special. Write it down. Mm-hmm. So, if you want to win this, don't put maybes, I don't know, don't do that. Make a decision. Yes or no, okay? Yes. Okay. So, just write it down. I want to win Fab Over 40. Mm-hmm. Okay, just make it simple. Or I won Fab Over 40. I don't believe in manifestation. Just write it down. Right. Not to say it doesn't work. There's a reason I don't believe in it. Okay. But I, just write down what you want. Make it simple. Let the most high know and then move forward. Okay. Let it go. Got you it. Right. Don't keep, if you keep going back and forth with the energy, it, it's good. You right. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, That's how It's I never feel. not work, Lamar. No, you sound no, crazy. No, I swear no you don't sound. You are it's right. never not work. You right. So I, I did a post promise. about this, too. Here, can I see that pen? Um, can uh, you have on me my, pen? On my Instagram, and I said, the things that you want in life, can like you, you said, card? I'm sorry, if you're not you. sure about it, God is... Then you're not sure. He's not sure, cool. so he can't help you. I'll wait till you're ready, then. Yeah. No problem, nigga. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I'm keeping this pants. Man. And don't for the people out there who want to practice this, too, when y'all are doing this at home, the worst thing you can do is worry about the whys and hows. Yeah. Because this is another thing you don't understand. When you apply the faith, right? The, do I sign it? You don't have to do all that. When you apply faith <laughs> to what you're doing, this is why I don't believe in manifestation. When you apply faith to what you're doing, you're no longer subjected to the regular rules that govern this planet. So, for example, if I need a house, right, I may need good credit. I may need a loan, all these things. The Bible tells me if, if, I'm, if I have faith in God and I'm following his rules, I don't have to play by those rules. Exactly. I'm going to have favor in whatever field I take place It's in the unseen, place in. not in the scene. Right. So if you, if you choose to operate that way, that's what you have to believe. That's how it's going to work. If you don't choose, then you have to operate how the world operates. You're going to have to get a good credit score. Mm-hmm. And you're going to have to. Like, that's just, <laughs> and those rules don't apply right. to me. You right. The I feel the same way. Because I think about things that have happened to me in life. And. It's always the it's unusual how it happens. Right. It, it doesn't happen like textbook way, you right. know. Right. And then when it happens, you're like, man, God. Because he wants you to know it ain't you. Yeah. <laughs> That's the, like I, I've been put in situations, nigga. You're so smart. I'm like, nigga, have you seen my high school transcripts? <laughs> what are you? You know how good of a basketball player I had to be, nigga. Thank you, James Smith. So niggas from college to look at me, nigga. I had to be amazing, nigga. So I was like, bro, it, it, I know it's not me, but uh, I understand why. Now we set in the chat room on fire. So then Pete Clemens is going to say, uh, does the Most High read notes? And then James Smith said, um, um. Uh, d- 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 uh, the note is the way for humans to release that desire. And then he who thinks that faith without works is dead, what part of what part does that play? Two parts. For one, the purpose of writing it down is because you're actually starting the process of what you guys refer to as manifestation. There you go. So it's a thought that you're actually bringing into you're form. You're putting it into form. Right. right. Now, I don't know now the I'll science go. behind it. God does. But right. that's the recipe he told but me to go with. But that's not for us it. to know. Thank you, Danny. And it works. So that's what I would say. The faith without works part, a lot of times when you read this, the understanding is actually backward from what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Because what he's saying is this. Why does Michael Jordan shoot the shot at the end of every game? It's not because he believes he's the greatest. It's because he knows he shot enough shots to know it's more than likely it's going to go in. Yeah. Right? So the faith the without works part are, is if yeah. you truly believe that you're great at something, it, it's going to show me in your actions, mm-hmm. not in your word or you tell me you have faith. That's mm-hmm. why you're writing it down. That's the faith part. Right. That's the action that you're. So the faith is in my mind. I believe I can do something. The action is I'm going to write it down and make right. it a reality now. And make it a reality. Then Bring I'm going to step and, towards and you. Hear this Bring it so from the n- unknown into the known. Into like the reality. This, Take yes. it from the unseen, the unseen world into the seen world. Scene. And then once I see it, that starts then the process. I, I, then I do I was, it. I was watching right. something so, on um, Netflix. Was it Netflix or YouTube yesterday? You know FTX, the guy that created FTX with right. Bitcoin and all that uh-huh. stuff. And he be, became like the richest youngest youngest right. richest person in the world is he still alive no nah. yeah yeah but he about okay. to go to jail yeah he about to get his ass he yeah he's going to jail because yeah. some fraud well, stuff. at least he's going but, to jail not dead like the rest <laughs> of them other ones <laughs> they just finding their bodies in right, suitcases yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, shit yeah, yeah. Good point, okay but go ahead but he wrote down <laughs> all the things that he wanted to do before mm-hmm. it 
before it happened. Mm-hmm. Right. And everything he wrote down happened the way that he wanted it So would that it be a vision board? Because I know I'll, I put down, I want to work at Sir, I want a podcast. A vision I want, board I want and Alexis, writing the and actual I got all words those are different. Like right. the words, the spelling. Like I don't, I said, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Like I put it. Oh, I you know, said the sp- words. You know, I see what you're saying. saying Instead of pictures and pictures, cutting out yeah, shit. It's different. I see what you're saying. When you write uh, yeah, in, I get what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, right, come on in. Okay, we, haven't started, we haven't started yet. Oh, you haven't? Okay. Yeah, you're not even on the show. Huh? Okay, right. Show, but you can go oh, I'm not? Like, no. <laughs> but you can. That's Danny, that's the boy over there. Hey, hey how, how are you? Doing? Pleasure. Is your dad here? Thank you. Mm-hmm. Tori Hart just walked in the building, y'all. Tori Hart just walked in the building. Oh, what a pleasure. <laughs> Looking good. Oh, yeah. oh my yeah. goodness, what a pleasure. Look at everybody, yeah. Tori's here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tori, oh, my God. Maybe Tori could drop a jewel for me. I know, right? This. Please drop a jewel. Maybe Real we drop quick, a jewel. we were just... Jewel. What's, okay, what am I missing? What's happening? Okay, so what were we talking about? We were just talking Manifestation, about... writing things down. Have, just um, faith in God. Yeah, dog. faith and yeah. whatever your goal is. Because right. I'm, I am I entered to, into a contest, and it's called fab over 40 okay so i was like you guys please you know just vote for me do whatever he was like well if you really want to win you know just kind of like what well go ahead nick uh the process advice. i believe in that i got from the good book write it down make it simple tell the most high this is what you want and then step towards it that's been my process i've never done this process and not receive what i've asked for or that blessing whether it's in the time that i need it or right on time oh so and it's always right on time. That's all I can tell. I can't. Yeah, I, I can't lie to you. It's, it's never not. Your working. time is not on time, but right, right. it's always on time. Mm-hmm. You know. So what's been your process, Tori? Yes. Oh wow. And to of your success bring a thing. Yeah. and how it's been. Um, and yes. First of all, did you say Fab over forty? Yes. You look good. Thank That's number you. one. Number oh. one, you already blessed. So mm. thank you. Won't he do it? <laughs> Won't he do it? Got much to worry about. Um, <laughs> that means a whole lot coming Right, from right. Me. I'm just so like, over 40. <laughs> um, oh, let me stop chewing this gum like this. No, you're fine. So listen. So then I would also say, you know, I honestly, I just do the work. Yes. I write stuff down. Mm. I, I manifest. I pray. And you, every, I mean, pretty much everything that y'all was saying. Mm-hmm. But really, you just got to do the work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can, Because you can write stuff down all day, but if you just write it down and then you don't actually, like they say, faith without works is dead. Mm-hmm. If you're not going and doing the work, then yeah. it's mm-hmm. not going to happen. Mm-hmm. And doing the work is just putting the effort into taking the first step because God will lead you. Right. The rest of the way. So following intuition. Yeah. Fo- follow, mm-hmm. You know, not letting grasp. If you get the opportunity, whatever that may mm-hmm. be, answering the phone. You right. know, I always right. scam likely or I'm just, I don't right. answer unknown calls. That could have been the call. You know right. what I mean? Right. So just things like that. Is that would that be... Would that you, that's that's part of it too. Part of it. Um, mm-hmm. Taking the initiative, you know, don't be scared to ask. Oh yeah. Don't be scared to offer help. Oh. Because sometimes you know people always have a handout instead of saying, "What can I help you with?" Because some mm. you know it's like pay it forward too. Yeah. You want somebody to help you? How can we reciprocate it? Ooh, yeah. Excuse me. How I can we reciprocate that. it? So mm. yeah, sometimes just be okay with with extending help instead of asking. Yeah. Yes. That's what I've learned too. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I love that. Mm-hmm. You get oh. what you put out. Mm. Right. Right. It's energy. That everything. That's real mm-hmm. tough. I try to. That's one of my biggest things this year. I should try to be. Um, the herbal shop I opened up. One of the biggest things we just try to treat black people special when they walk through the door. Because mm-hmm. I've never been anywhere that I've been treated special just because I'm black. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's always, are you spending money here? Right. Or what are you buying? What can you do? Those type of things. Um, where you see other people, like if you're Asian and you walk into an Asian market, they treat you like your family if you're Asian going into an Asian market, you know? Right. Um, so I really try to service my people when they come into the shop. So if you guys in LA, Crenshaw area, pull up, I'm going to take care of you. Yes. Okay. Yes. I love that. Okay. So special. they just asked, Jane Smith just asked, is Tori, is Tori still on tour? I heard she's doing well on the road. I am still on tour, actually, James. Um, Jane. My next, oh, Jane. Jane oh, Smith. Jane. Yeah. Oh, hey, Jane. So my, <laughs> <laughs> my uh, next date is, Oh, tonight, actually. But this, this is not part of my tour. This is just me doing a show out here at uh, the Ice House in Pasadena. Ooh. But um, I am, my tour will be, the next date is in New York, and that's November 26th. Oh, nice. And then uh, I'm in Atlanta um, December 12th 
through the 14th. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, 13th through the 15th. I can't, I don't have my calendar right in front of me, so I'm getting my dates mixed up. And then, um, you know, dates are being at, I'll be in Colleen, Texas, December 2nd, doing a show with Chrisette Michelle. Oh. So it's, it's a lot of stuff that's happening, and I, I'll be, honestly, if I don't have it right in front of me, I can't even keep up with the dates. I, that is so yeah, good, though. Good. I want that right. problem. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I know, right? Oh, right. Book right. right. and busy. Right. Book and busy. Right. Yep. Already doing oh, work. I love that. You yeah. are such an inspiration to Thank so you. many women, especially black women, women mm -hmm. of color. You do your thing and you right. and I love that especially you know as being somebody that was you know that does have someone so famous right you right. know and you still pursuing your goals right. and doing everything that you got to do and doing it well like Thank that is you. such a you know that speaks to everyone mm -hmm. you know and it's such an inspiration to no, us. I, I listen I appreciate that because I just went to see Lunell uh, at the comedy store on Wednesday, mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. had to pull up on her, and I was just telling her she inspires me because she does not give zero. Can I cuss on you? Yes, okay, yes, she, yes, yes. She gives zero fucks. She her her <laughs> mentality is I don't care what people think yes. about me, what mm -hmm. they say, and you know I draw inspiration from her because you know being that I am a mother, mm -hmm. um, even though my kids are older now, but when I first started comedy, I. Everything that I did, I would base it off of what my kids think. You know, mm -hmm. now I don't care. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, I'm, I'm, you know, and there people will be like, you know, but you're a mom, but I'm like, you know what? My kids come from two comedians. Yes. Like they understand what this is. Like I can't keep worrying about, oh, I can't write this joke this way because what is my daughter going to think? Oh, am yeah. I going to be a good representation? Mm -hmm. And it's like I'm not being a good representation because I'm not fully being be an yourself. artist, yeah. right? Be and yourself. I'm not fully yeah. being mm -hmm. what I'm supposed to do, which mm -hmm. is not. You can't you can't give a fuck with your art yes you, you know can. what i mean because it's your art and right. it's yours right you know what i mean there's yeah. no such thing as it being wrong right or different right. bad you know so yeah. it's because it's you right you know and i know i'm flawed <laughs> <laughs> it's like you could right see okay like a lot of people just ask the different right. person they're gonna have a different experience mm -hmm. right but part. oh my god i just thank you so much for gracing this right here my platform with you you were just amazing that was such a surprise and Aww. such a you so down you know like oh thank you i didn't know you were so cool oh yeah. and that's another thing i hate because see speedy's known me for years oh, we <laughs> see god bless me god knows uh, what well, well, well speedy's known me for years so they know i'm crazy like a lot of people they have this misconception of me and i'm yeah. like y'all have no idea i know like, like i cool am the most free-spirited fun you know whatever I, I love that. Hey, I, I will Tori, you know what? It's so crazy. That is true though. Because people know. just assume like she's I'm like, why do y'all get where does this come from? I think so. Maybe maybe most women with your vibe and your energy are like that. Mm -hmm. Oh no! You know I'm what so. I mean? Maybe what that's sign what are you? Is. I'm a Pisces. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah. Water sign. I'm yeah. She don't okay. Know. She, she don't know. know. She. Don't know. she I hate when a nigga think they know the stars. I promise you. That's why. Nigga, that's why. Right? I do. I do. I do. Right. We only a couple days off, and then Chloe Kardashian. You drink water. Don't be mad. You drink water. You drink water too. <laughs> you breathe air? Oh, oh that's why. You go to the Because you're a Pisces. Right. Stop it. I was just there. Y'all silly. Get on my nerves. Okay. Oh, my goodness. The biggest, the biggest, the biggest thanks to Miss Tori Hart. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Me. Oh, my God. What a look at God and his surprises. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Um, Lamore, please let everyone know where they can find you, sir. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok. Shit, that's all I be on. Okay, and, and what's your handle, darling? Lamore the Great. Lamore, <laughs> <laughs> Lamore the Great. <laughs> I'll sing you. I'll sing you where all I'm at. But yeah, they said Tori is fine. What's up, Tori? They all giving you shouts out. Shit, I thought yes. my I, Danny. I thought my mic was on. Nigga, I said. <laughs> I thought I said that. I said so that. silly. Um, <laughs> so, so please let everyone know where, if they do not already know where they yes. can find you. Yes, you can find me on Instagram, uh, Facebook. Instagram is T-O-R-R-E-I-H-A-R-T. Yes. And pretty much, yeah, catch me. Catch me at a show out here in L.A. I've been yes. going up a lot, y'all. Now that my kids is grown, I'm kind of like, <laughs> I love it's my time. Yeah, exactly. So catch me. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I love that, Tori. And then you guys can find her at the Ice House tonight in tonight. Pasadena. Yeah, I'm in Pasadena tonight. Okay. The Ice House in the California room. Roz mm -hmm. is funny. She is crazy, y'all. She's hilarious. The show is going to be hilarious. Got some good people on there. Slink Johnson, Howie Bell. 
uh, A.D. the Great, Precious Hall. Yes, so, Precious. Yeah, love so. Precious. She's love been on Precious. the show a few times. Oh, yeah, so okay. Yes, yeah. I love Precious. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Thank you guys so much. Um, uh, shout out to the Righteous One. I love him so much. That's what I call Nick is the Righteous okay. One. <laughs> Uh, Nick, uh, I love you so much. Thank you so much for the show. I couldn't do it without you, sir. Great show, Danny. Oh, man, I appreciate mm. you. Oh, d- he always says yeah. it's his favorite show when you're not here, Papa. <laughs> so but, okay, we just go let him slide on it's that one. Show, 100%. 100%. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much. Be blessed, be bold, but be kind, and don't forget to let Danny tell, tell it. it. Thank you. Y'all stay tuned. Tori Hart is in the building. We will be right back with Speedy and Friends Freaky Friday with Tori Hart.